Whew. What's up, YouTube? Midwest Two over here back again. Um, I am not doing a long video tonight. I'm just gonna give you guys a couple updates. I am tired. Um, I tried to get out here and work on the truck. You see, I got the Miller, got the Yes Welder, <laughs> and um, and I just kind of been working on this cab corner over here. Uh, it gave me a lot of trouble, a lot of bad metal that I had to cut out and just start all over again. So I had to form a new patch, get that patch welded in, and then um, didn't quite get the angle right. So I had to cut that corner piece out, and uh, I'm going to have to form that and weld that back in, which is what you see there, the triangular portion. I'm just frustrated tonight, and I'm just going to call it on that. I'm just tired. Um, I started doing a little bit of work on the C10. Uh, that's kind of like a back burner project in terms of, you know, getting started on it. Um, got the, I got the uh, information on the inner and outer rockers. So now I know how to make that because I'm going to make that myself. Uh, I've been using this um, slip roller from Vivor. Uh, I'll put the information in the video, but basically... Uh, this allows you to uh, basically form your metal. So you can take a sheet of metal and um, load it into the rollers. And I'll show you guys real quick. And you can form, you know, your shapes like that. Um, just simply roll it in like that. And, uh, you know, turn. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I've been working on that. Uh, as you guys see... I got myself a, I don't know what that noise is, got myself a new work area here. Um, I did not have tables for assembly and drawing and and, and um, making templates and all that kind of stuff. We do have that now. Um, so you guys can see I got the table set up, got these for, at an auction for five bucks a piece. So that ain't bad at all. And it gives me room to have you know, my slip roller, I have a Beverly shear coming next. I have a sheet metal bender come in as well, all from Vivor. Um, so they sent me this one here for free and I've already ordered some other ones just to want my out of my own dollar. Uh, but I'm, I got to do more research on this one. I, I got to do, cause they didn't come with very good instructions on how to use it. I understand the principle of it, but I've got to, I got to get some, some good in information on how to use one of these things because um, this one here, I've, I still haven't quite got the bend like I wanted to. So more work to come on that. Um, you guys may have heard I was in an accident with my motorcycle. A friend of mine ran into the back of my bike, dented up the fender. So that's going to be going into the shop next week uh, for, the, for the insurance company to take care of that. Um, but yeah, other than that, in terms of the shop, not a whole lot going on. Um, I started cleaning up the, the top hutch of my box here. So you kind of see that's changing a little bit. Um, I should have it all wiped down and cleaned up better tomorrow. Uh, I'm just tired, worn out today. It's had a lot of stuff going on and, uh, I'm just beat. So I'm going to go in the house, take a shower and call it a night. Uh, I got to do a review on this Foxwell, um, scan tool here. Uh, they sent me this and, uh, it's so OB2, OBD2, and battery tester. So I got to get that one reviewed for you guys as well. Uh, get that knocked out. Uh, I did get a couple tools from an auction I got for $2.50. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I got these snap-on wrenches, a 12 mil short. Uh, one of the speed wrenches and a 10 and then a little 3 16 wrench there. So I paid $2.50 for that. That ain't a bad deal at all. Um, I don't know what the cost would be to replace these, but I assume it's more than $2.50. Um, let's see what else is there that I want to share. Um, I felt like I got something. Oh, that broke off. Son of a bitch. Uh, got to figure out where that... Oh, there it is. Okay, I got to get that back on there. I felt like I got some other tools that I can't remember what I got, though. Um... Oh, what did I get? Did I show you guys? Let me think here. Think, 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 think. Um, oh, I got pliers. I got like a bunch of new pliers. Does anybody know what these are used for? 
Uh, they came in a set. I'm not sure. I feel like I should know, but I can't remember what they are, what they're used for. Um, but I got those. Uh, I got another pair of vice grips. Uh, mm, I don't even remember all, what all it was, but I got a couple of new pliers that came in the mail from an auction, like five dollars, something like that. Um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna call it. I'm tired. You guys can tell I'm kind of mumbling on. But yeah, I'm really happy about the work center here, having a place to work and spread out stuff and have a nice, you know, clean area. That works out really cool. So I'm happy about that. That's probably the, probably the highlight of my day. So, all right, guys, I'm going to call it. I'm tired and, uh, and we'll pick this back up tomorrow. All right, guys, peace.